Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another awesome video. A couple of my wonderful students said, hey Mr. Harmon, why don't you make a video for how to make a tree and how to make a house? And I thought, oh my gosh, what if I put them together and we made a tree house? So my friends, let's get cracking. Let's start with the good practice of naming our files so they're easier to keep track of. As you know by now, I always put the item and then my initials so I can keep track of it. And then we are going to go down and find some awesome shapes in the all categories. When you go to number one, there is a customizable house. Let's just set it down. And then let's also go to number 16 and find the amazing tree. It takes a lot of clicks to get out to 16, but when you find it, we want the blue tree. When you click and set it down, it has properties. What I'm going to tell you to do is take the trunk length and stretch it to 20 so your tree is as large as can be. And then I'm going to make my trunk radius the number 3. So that means it's 6 in diameter and its radius is 3. Give it time to make itself and then you can figure out if you want to change the depth. Remember it was 5 and you can just tweak those and find the numbers that you like. I thought five was pretty cool. If you want to play with the randomizer, you can do that to just see how funky it can be. I'm going to stay with the 256 that was there. And then I'm going to take that tree and make it a little larger by holding shift and stretching it out. And right there, we have got a tree ready for our tree house. I'm going to go over to our house, control Z. I do not want to shape it. I want to just look at the changes I can make. So you can see you can change the length, width, and height, but those will fit good with the tree I just built. You could change the roof height, you could change the door height. All of these options are adjustable, including crazy things like shutting off the patio. So now it goes to zero. And you could have garages. I'm going to give myself two garages and see how instantly those draw but I'm gonna remove those. And I'm just gonna go with this cute little basic house. Real quickly, I'm gonna use the mouse to just drag it to the middle of my tree. Now hold down control and tap the up arrow until you get it at the height you want it. I'm gonna pick the pieces that I want it to balance on. So I'm gonna have it balance on this piece right here. And if I get my eyeballs just the way I want on that side view, and I'm gonna hold shift right click to drag it. So I've got the view, and then I can just use control down arrow until I really think that that would sit on the tree. Then you can use the black handles to just stretch it in one direction until you've totally got your little tree house where you want it. If for some reason you decided you wanted the patio, I'm going to bring mine back by putting a 10 and then just wait a moment for it to redraw and have your cool patio built in as well. I want the trees in your house. Let me show you how quickly we can get rid of that. Turn on your work plane and click on the flat place where your house has been. And then we want to bring out a hole box and you just simply want to cut out where the tree house is going to be. So I'm just going to stretch this out so it reaches the edges. You don't have to be totally perfect. You can be a little bit less, but it's that easy to grab the black handles and stretch it out and then make sure it's tall enough so there aren't any silly artifacts uh, that you don't want in your house poking out. Then click on the purple piece and hide it. And then with it hidden, take those two pieces that are left and group them. Since it's a complex part, it takes a moment for that to cut out. But then when you do show all, you'll see that your house is back in place on your tree with branches poking out here and there, but you've got a pretty awesome place to build the rest of your stuff. If you spot a goofy piece of tree floating, it is pretty easy to get rid of that. I'm going to do work plane and I'm going to go right to this little post. I'm going to bring out another hole box. And then all you have to do is get it to the size that it's going to cut out that little part. And then once again, I'm going to hide the purple house just so I don't accidentally uh, mix it with anything else. Let's make sure that's only cutting the piece that I want it to. It was close, but I think it was going to be a little bit short. And then just group those. Wait patiently for it to actually group. 
click your show all and do another double check to see how cool it is turned out. I'm going to change my house to a woodsy color. My tree is a woodsy color as well. I think I'm going to make my house white. I'm going to click somewhere else, click just the house, and let's make it a white house. So with the work plane still in place, let's go to Shape Generators, page 3, and find the Carcassonne. This is a cool board game, apparently in France. If you stand this up and stay close to his belly, you can do the 90 degree switch. And then when you hit the letter D, he is standing right where you want. If you hold down shift, you can shrink him to the exact height you prefer and pick a cool color that you'd like this person to be. I want him to be a little bit thinner, so I'm gonna just use the little handles to adjust them till I'm happy. And then I'm gonna give him a friend by doing Control D to duplicate and then just switching the symbol. Let's give him a princess and let's do Control D again and let's give him a pig, which is the traders and builders. I want my pig to be pink. I want my princess to be purple. And now I'm starting to have an awesome little tree house. You can build all kinds of furniture. The last thing we need to add is a way for them to get up in it and let's do that with a ladder. I'm going to hit W for work plane and I'm going to click down on the bottom. Go back to the basic shapes and bring out a box. I want you to hold shift and shrink it down and then click in one of the boxes and type two and press enter. And that gives you a two by two cube. Click fit view to selection. Click on the stretch up arrow and I want you to make it 30 high and press enter. When you zoom out, see if that gets to the whole height of your shape. If it does not, just adjust it till you find the exact height and then use the arrow keys to nudge it into place for where a ladder would be. So I'm going to put my ladder right there and then I can easily check and find the exact height I want and I'm going to go a couple higher because I'm going to rotate this. Do control D to duplicate, nudge it across with the arrow keys to where you think is good, then bring out another cube once again, hold down shift, and this time I want you to type 1.5 for all the measurements. Once again, do fit view to selection. We're going to rotate, and we're going to make it as wide as we want each slat for our ladder. I'm going to make them just like that. With my cool little part in place, I'm going to switch to a 5mm grid, and I'm going to do control up. That made it move up because I held down control instead of back. Now I'm going to do control D and I'm going to do control up again. And it just memorized those measurements. I'm going to scroll back so I can see more, making sure I don't touch anything else. But then every time I do control D, it moves up for my ladder. I'm going to connect all those together to make it easier. I'm going to hide my treehouse. Now I can look at it from the side, making sure that I only grab the ladder. And when I group it, it will be lovely and all connected. I'm going to make it brown, which is cool for a ladder. I'm going to do show all to bring everything back. And now I can click on my ladder and I can tilt it so that it's easier for the people to climb up. And then I can use the arrows to nudge it into place, making sure I move back to one millimeter. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a super cool, fun, awesome treehouse that you can build. Lots of room for you to make yours way more epic than mine. You can put all kinds of things inside your treehouse and turn it into something truly spectacular. Alrighty friends, if you make something truly special, make sure you shoot us a screenshot at Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Any of them, we are located at HLModTech. You can also look for us at HLModTech.com. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HLModTech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.